Hello and welcome to next episode of my quick tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 4. If you haven't seen previous episode yet, that's okay, you can do it later since they are not connected. Alright, let's get started with this episode. Number 4. Changing camera's field of view. Let's say you want to change your camera's field of view. So normally you would go to Viewport Options and change FOV value here, like 50 for example. So that's basically a way to check how does your scene look like with different lens. But what about if you would like to change this value only temporarily, just for zooming in or zooming out? So instead of changing manually a uh, value here, hold right mouse button and press C to decrease field of view or press Z to increase it. So I use it mainly for checking texture details like this, for example. What's also really nice about that is it works also with static or skeletal mesh editor where there are no camera options available. So that's the shortcut is the same. So you hold down right mouse button and press C or Z. Number five, approximate size. I saw people trying to manually measure their objects by using orthographic views while holding down scroll button like this. And by the way, if you didn't know about such feature, now you know. It's like a trick inside the trick. So this method is okay when you're more or less, and I say more or less because it's quite difficult to be precise here. So if you want to know what's the distance between objects, you're still okay. But if you want to check the size more precisely, I would go to static mesh editor and check approx size. Yeah, but you can say now, Hey, you said about being precise and now you tell us to check the approximate value. It's because, for example, in 3D Studio Max, or I guess any 3D application, you can set the size to be extremely precise. Like, for example, your object can have dimensions of 1 by 1 by 3.14159, whatever. So Unreal Engine just displays an approximate value. Number 6. In use by level filter. That's a quite new trick I found recently. While working on a project, it's good to know what assets are being used in a particular level. You can use, of course, the scene outliner window, but sometimes, and especially when you didn't spend much time on naming your assets or putting them in folders, it's really hard to tell what's in your scene. And I prefer to, visual to see visually what I have. We need to use a content browser filter. Let's go to filters other filter and choose in use by level. You can use you can also add another filter to narrow down the results, like static mesh for example. Remember that it gives you only assets that are in content browser, so lights, volume and so on won't be there. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to check out our Unreal Engine blog for more tutorials and see you next time.